One of the most important new features in Mocha Pro 4 is the way that it handles the project and clip settings now. And there's a very important reason why it's had this big overhaul, which we're also going to be looking at soon. So let's start up our new project. And I'm going to choose my first clip. So the updated new project windows consolidated a few things and also given us a few new opportunities. So we've got the same old way of renaming our clip. So I'll just call this uh, Ben Test 1 and we can save the location. And our import clip still has the frame range that we can now set. So if we don't want the whole clip, we go from yeah, 0 to 100, for example. But if we have a look at the frame offset, the frame offset has been moved a bit further to the front because this is quite an important thing. The frame offset can, of course, affect how our exported tracking data is taken over and what the start frame is. We were always able to sort of change this midway through the, the project, but it was one of those settings that was hidden away and it was very, very easy just to forget about. So you'd end up having to offset clips again and again and again. So now we can have a fixed frame offset, which means we can set this to be whatever we need it to be. So it can be offset of 10, or we can have it set to the start frame which will then match the start frame of the clip that we brought in or we can have it set to the time code of the footage so it can use the time code that we're bringing in here as well so let's take this back here bring this over here hit reset to update the time code and that will bring that in for us there the other thing we've got is with our import clip, we now have a new button here that says add. And this is really for those people who are working with stereoscopic 3D files, and it really helps out the, uh, the stereo workflow. This is a, a, a stereoscopic 3D clip, and I have a left eye view here. I can now click on add and add my right eye stream straight into this project. And if I come down to my views down here, I can make sure that Mocha knows this is a multi-view project. I will be going slightly deeper into this when I look at my stereoscopic workflow tutorial. And if I want to remove a clip that I'm bringing in, I can just trash that clip there and then. Actually, that, let's pick our other clip here and we'll call this one Ben 1. Here we go. And just hit OK. And let's pop into our clip module now. And you'll see that this is also being updated a little bit to help us sort of work with these different streams of footage. At any point, I can add a new footage stream if I need to. And it's very easy to relink stuff here as well. Now, one of the things that was problematic in previous versions of Mocha was something that happened under this interlace tab here. If you're working with interlaced footage and you forgot to tell Mocha that it was interlaced as you were bringing the clip in, you weren't able to tell it that it was an interlaced clip. So you'd have to start all over again and start up a new project. Here, at any point, we can always say that it's interlaced and how we're separating this stuff out. And it will change and update for us immediately. So we don't have to worry as much. We haven't told Mocha that we have an interlaced clip. This can always be done later on in the process. What we can also do that we couldn't do before is come into our project settings and very easily change up the length of the project, the frame rate and the, the first frame offset. And if we need to, we can also turn it into a multi-view project at any point in time here. So all this means is that project settings aren't tied in to that initial clip setting that you brought in. And we've got a lot more flexibility to change things afterwards if we need to.